What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. Now the cryptocurrency mining craze is kind of over at the moment. Uh, if you don't know what that was, there was a, like a lot of miners getting into cryptocurrencies because it was really, really profitable at that stage. And because of that also, a lot of graphics cards or gaming graphics cards was sold out everywhere. It was like a worldwide shortage on GPUs. So that's kind of subsiding at the moment. There's more graphics cards now. But the thing is, is it still profitable? Because the prices of the cryptocurrencies keep going up. I mean, Bitcoin is just below $7,300. When I started out in the beginning of the year, it was at just a thousand. Even It was less than a thousand. So that's quite a growth. Uh, probably at the end of the year, it'll reach probably like $10,000 for a single Bitcoin. So that's almost a 10, 10 time increase just in a single year. So that's quite a jump. But now that's all well and good, but is it still profitable? Because a lot of people did jump into it, made a lot of cash, and then, yeah, are they still mining, aren't they? Did they stop? So that's where I'm gonna look into it now. Uh, I can tell you guys, I did crypto, I did mine cryptocurrencies, I did mine Bitcoins. Well, a um, uh, program I used was NiceHash, which used mine different cryptocurrencies and then paid you out in Bitcoins. So I'm mostly gonna go over with that because it's relatively easy and it can also show you guys um, if it's still profitable to mine the other coins because it did mine uh, Ethereum, Zcash, it mined all of those coins. So yeah, we're gonna look into that one. And then also what what GPUs do you have if it's still profitable to use those because um, like I said I don't really mine anymore because it wasn't profitable for me anymore personally but it could still be profitable for you so let's quickly just find out um, how much it actually decreased of just the mining alone the profitability uh, with my system that I have over here so I currently have because you just mine with the GPU I have a GTX 1066 gig so at the at, my, at the peak, I made about four dollars a day. At the moment, I only make about ninety cents. So that's quite a drop. I'll just show you guys some of the um, some of my statistics up here as well. So that's quite a drop from four dollars a day to less than a dollar a day. Even though the Bitcoin prices did go up substantially. It's not really worth it because of the difficulty that went up as well. So the more people who, who get into the cryptocurrencies, the harder it is to mine because otherwise it wouldn't really stay profitable because everybody would just have thousands of Bitcoins and that just wouldn't work. So the difficulty goes up, uh, the more popular it actually gets, the more people who mine it. So let's quickly just jump into my computer back here and see how much my GTX 1060 is able to still mine and then convert that into actually if it's profitable, if you still have to do it if you want to. So yeah, let's quickly get into that. Okay, so here we have the nice hash miner. So it's the nice hash miner uh, version two. Uh, I started out with the version one, but the new one is just a bit better. So if you're actually here and you just want to see how much your card can actually make without really getting into all of the mining and setting everything up, you can just go download the nice hash miner. I'll leave a link to it in the website. Uh, so you can just go to your hardware details. You're gonna first have to benchmark the card, but it will tell you automatically to do that. And then you'll see all of the algorithms here. So all of these are different cryptocurrencies that you can actually mine. Like for instance, the Equihash is for Zcash, the Pascal is for Pascal, and then for instance, the Dagger Moto is for Ethereum. So that one's for Ethereum. So these are all the ones I used to mine. I actually, in the end, only mined Zcash, because that was almost the most profitable for me. So you're gonna, you can go in here and just see what you'll be able to mine. And then once you're actually there, you can go into cryptocompare.com and then you can actually just add in all of the, de uh, the stuff you actually got, the scores, the speeds, you can add in here and see how much you got. So for instance, yeah, Equihash is Zcash. So let's just take 275.8 and go to Zek. 200 and what was 78 i think 75 so that was actually what it was 
So if I calculate that from a single card, it's I'm only going to make 50 cents a day. So that's even less. Um, you can also change your power. So if you don't pay any electricity, you're going to make about a dollar. But if you pay, let's say, you know, whatever again, you're going to make less. And depending on the power consumption of that card and the system as well. As we take uh, Dagger Hash, which was 18.8. .8, so that is Ethereum, which everybody uh, is crazy about. And then let's say power let's just take 200 again so you make less than 50 cents a day so that's per day you don't really make anything where i used to make four dollars a day so that's crazy how much it dropped um, now i'm not going to go into all of them you don't really mine for bitcoins with uh, the with nice hash miner you mine all these different coins and then you actually get paid out in uh, bitcoin so that's just an easier way to handle everything so there's all of the coins here uh, there's a bunch of them and uh, you can mine different coins that's not really that popular but some of them are still valuable so let's we take usd top list so you'll see like uh, ripple is okay 0 0.2 dollars uh digital cash is 272 dollars that's not too bad and some of them are more, some of them are less, uh, especially newer ones. It's easier to get into. The difficulty isn't that high. So you'll be able to make more. And then if for some, and whenever it actually jumps to, let's say, $100 and you have 100, then you're kind of set. You did make something, especially in the beginning when it's really easy to mine. So you can look around into that. Um, now, you can use different uh a different program to see uh, what you actually get you do have the the claim more dedicated miners so the the dual miners which you can uh, mine ethereum and also let's say psi or decree and mine two things at the same time uh, so you can do that if you want a more precise measurement but i personally just use nitrous because it's a lot easier and yeah if i also i can start the miner i think my recording is gonna struggle a bit you can just see it's already struggling now so at the moment it says i'm making about a dollar a day Let's see if i'm gonna leave it for like two three minutes see if it actually goes up okay so i just left it for about two minutes uh as you can see it's only like one point zero seven so that's not a lot I hope the recording is better now. So as you can see, where I used to make four dollars a day with my 1060, now I make four oh, one dollar. So it's four times less. So yeah, that's not too great. Um, you can again use different programs to actually see, but this is what I used, and uh, just to actually show you guys that it's not really that profitable for me personally at the moment if you have a thousand gpus then yeah go for it a thousand dollars a day but then again you have a lot of electricity and stuff like that so you should actually uh, take care of as well uh, but now i'll leave a link if you want to actually mine ethereum zcash bitcoin whatever i'll leave links in the video description where i did make dedicated videos on how to use nice to actually mine for bitcoins the entire process with the previous version though you can but you'll be able to do the same thing with version two version two and then also ethereum zcash i did a bunch of them so you can just go check out the links in the video description for that okay now what you also can do is when you get all of your uh, speeds here you can take it into what to mine.com you can choose your gpus what you what you have and then put in your actual rates so there's eth hash uh, we don't mind that now there's crypto night uh, equia hash you can put in all everything and it's just going to tell you what is the best to mine at that moment the thing is everything is fluctuating so it's not always going to be the same but yeah you'll be able to see what you actually have and then you can also go into nice Hash's website and the profitability calculator here you can actually choose what gpu you have so let's just take my 1060 um, let's say usd and one uh, us dollar per kilowatt hour so making about a dollar 50 which isn't entirely true for me so yeah you're making a bit there uh, you can also put in let's say 
a 1080 Ti if you want to use that and then you're going to make about $2.60 so I could just uh, come say again I did make $4 a day with a 1060 now a 1080 Ti doesn't even make to um, doesn't even make three dollars so it did drop quite a lot but if you do have the cards then you can use them to make you something but i wouldn't really recommend buying entirely new cards especially if you start out so it's not really going to be worth it but you can go into all of these test all the stuff here uh, if you have only a cpu you can see your cpu but i would definitely not recommend it because it's gonna destroy your cpu really if your cpu runs at 80 90 degrees the entire time i would not really recommend it just for one dollar a day so yeah that's pretty much it so as you guys could see it's still profitable at the moment although if you if your electricity bill is kind of high you're gonna uh, make a lot less and you still have to figure in that you need the gpu so if you buy new it's gonna take you a lot longer to actually get your money back for instance when i started out i did buy two gpus to mine with and i did pay them off within three months but that was when it was four dollars that i made with my 1060 now it's going to take you four times as long so it's going to take you a year to actually pay them off completely and that's with all of the electricity you have to reckoning and everything so it could take you longer even so in the end now if you're just starting out i wouldn't really recommend it if you're just if you're just gonna mine with a single card it's not gonna really be worth it for the um for the beginners you can go into mining but look into different currencies so that's something you can always go into because you never know when that cryptocurrency might just spike and then you can make a lot again that's what actually happened to ethereum so that's one thing you can look into but do not expect to make any profits do it for fun see what you can do uh, like it's almost like a demo account for uh, stock stock trading so you can some do something like that just for the fun of it but if you actually want to make money you're gonna have to invest quite a big sum into actually getting all of the gpus and everything and then it's still going to be a long-term investment you're going to have to invest for a year almost two years just to actually get your money back which isn't always a bad thing because you also never know when the cryptocurrencies might just spike again and then you're set to mine and make billions of dollars but the thing is you never know so it could also crash it could go up i don't think it would crash because cryptocurrencies is kind of the, the new thing, the people's currency almost, because it's not linked to any government or anything. So if you want to, you can go, but like again, you have to invest a huge sum amount to actually get something in return to uh, make it your full-time job. So if you are able to invest, what, $100,000, go for it. But again, it's going to take you some time to get that money back. So just be prepared for that. But personally for me, I don't think I'm really going to go into the mining again and not very quickly because of how not profitable it is for somebody like me who only has uh, like two, three cards to actually mine with. Uh, especially with the, it delivers, a, it makes a lot of heat in a small room. Like I did have a few GPUs mining in a single time and it made my room unbearable. So for somebody small like me, I would not recommend it again. So that's the main reason why I'm not gonna go back in, back into cryptocurrencies like uh, heavily. But if you guys want me to make actually cryptocurrency videos, test out some uh, some other coins, see how they work, uh, do some uh, some testing, you can um, you can guys can just let me know in the comments below, and I'll actually see if I can get into that, do some research, and just perhaps help you guys some out. Um, but this channel is mostly due for gaming which is, uh, gamers so if you're into gaming and you mind then that's awesome but uh, again this is mostly for gaming i'm not going to focus entirely just on cryptocurrencies because that's not what i'm here for so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful uh if it helped you please like share subscribe and comment and then i will check all of you next time cheers guys